with the new Integra. Are we doing this video like the other video that we did? <laughs> Going around the block and having all text <laughs> logos everywhere? <laughs> no, not that one. Well, we did the stock. <laughs> you didn't watch that video, did you? I watched it. I don't remember. It, so it must not have been that good. I guess. Still struggling, I guess. Anyways. Smoking Tiger Podcast. Here's a review of the new BE5 Integra Type S. It's amazing. We drove the stock one last time, or like the stock Integra regular non Type S. And my thoughts on it were it was good, but lacked. I don't know, to me it lacked in like some sportiness to it. So stock, it was just kind of, eh, it was okay, but it wasn't great. But this- It was an SI, but fancy. Yeah, it was a nicer SI, which even the SI is still nice as a daily driver, but it's not, I don't know, it wasn't what I expected it to be. So that being said, I was nervous when getting this car. This is the first time we've really talked about it on our channel, but the car is amazing. Everything about it is just, it's so good. It's fast, it's comfortable, it's you know got a nice interior, it sounds good. Everything about it, I'm like super happy on. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on what other people thought of the car and no one really had lived with it. It was all just, you know, like the smoking tire, they would just review it and give you their um, opinion on the actual car itself which it drives awesome but I wanted to know what it was gonna be like to have as like a daily driver because this is my new daily driver it's not just a fun weekend car I'm gonna drive this car every day and live with it and as you can see if you have kids and a big stroller it doesn't really uh, fit well in the back so <laughs> the trunk space is not small it could fit some golf clubs but it's also not that huge, but compared to the Type R, it's about the same in my opinion, but it is nice the seats fold down. But just driving it every day, these seats are not like the Type R at all. Like not even close to a Type R seat. There's not a lot of lumbar support. It's just kind of just a nice, it's a nice seat for daily driving, but yeah, I drove it on track <laughs> and the seats sucked. I hated them. Like on track, I could not hold myself in place. And not that I'm like, you know, a small guy or a huge guy. I'm just kind of average, I'd like to think. But at Mid-Ohio, I just could not keep myself planted in this car, which was not fun. So it kind of sucks. If you want a dedicated track car, you might want to get the FL5 versus this just based on the seats. But as far as performance and all that, same as Type R. Like, I've had two Type R's, FK8s, and... This thing is maybe a tiny bit faster, but not much that you could really tell the difference, but on the street, it's just an awesome car. That's basically all I got. I don't know about you, but for me, every time I get in this car, I always feel like I'm actually getting into like an old Integra, like a mixture between the two, but it's like new, you know what I mean? Like the vibe's still there. It definitely feels like a Honda should feel. Like what you're looking for in a Honda, you know, the noises, the the RPMs, you know, all that shit. But it's just nice because it's new. Yeah. No, it's definitely really good. DJ had like every dealer option in this car and then he still went back to a OEM shift knob. But the, the other one was titanium, right? That's what the dealer said. I don't, I don't give a shit. If anyone wants to buy it, it's half off. So I don't like it. The stock one is like this is like the. That's still like a hundred bucks though. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was two something from the dealer, but <laughs> the stock knob is like it's very similar to the R6 Type S, which I like that one as well. So. such a good car like it's I go to his house sometimes and I'll pull up to his house and I'm looking around and I'm like dude that is a good car I don't know why it gets me like every time but one day one day mm-hmm mm-hmm
I can hear them and it sounds amazing. That's stock. EP3? Still better than fucking most BMWs. <laughs> oh, shots. It's true. <laughs> Any Honda gearbox is like, manual gearbox is like on butter. Like, yeah. they're always nice. And this car is just so good. I mean, the, it's the same as the the Type R from a previous generation, too. So it's not like they changed it. They changed the gearing, but the actual trend is the same. It just feels so good. Like, the little bit of burbles is like, I know the other Integra had it too, the uh, base model one that, or A-spec that we reviewed before, but this is just a little bit more aggressive since they deleted the resonator, so it's the actual three inch and loud, but it's not, it doesn't burble enough that I feel like... You're a ricer? Yeah, I don't feel like I'm uh, annoying someone with my burble tune, that's super stupid, crackle pop. <laughs> But I really want to plug in Derek's. <laughs> yeah. Go on IMW and get his $5,000 crackle tune. But yeah, as far as the review goes, this car is. I mean, I haven't driven a shit ton of cars, but this is the best daily driver for me. It's sporty, it's fast, it makes cool noises, it's reliable because it's a Honda, it shifts awesome, gauges look cool. Everything about it is just nice. So. Your 50,000 mile update, or are we gonna wait even longer? Um, I mean, nothing's really gonna change except for we'll maybe update when we develop our parts that we're gonna develop for it. But you want to fill them in? I mean, we don't know what we're developing yet, so I can't really. Fill you it got too ideas, much. yeah? There's ideas, race car stuff coming, not engine stuff. Yeah, we we know other people got that That's made, so we'll see what the dyno the dyno has in. for stock. I mean, that's pretty good numbers. Yeah, I don't know if this what part of the video this is in. But I don't want to spoil the fun. You guys already saw it. Three hundred. Three hundred six. <laughs> one seventeen torque though. How much torque? One, or three one seventeen. <laughs> uh, three. What a power band. Fuck you. <laughs> Quit. 